The Chiefs enter the playoffs as one of the hottest teams in all of football, with Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City starters winning 23 of their last 24 games. But it's the way in which they're winning that's actually set an NFL record and has some Chiefs fans concerned. The Chiefs became the first team in NFL history to win seven straight games by one score or less, raising the blood pressure throughout Chiefs Kingdom for sure. But Josh Briscoe, Matt Derrick, and Cody Tapp all say these close games aren't cause for concern. Among all of those close victories that had a lot of people losing some hair, the, the one thing I think stood out to me that didn't stand out to everybody, the Chiefs have been in pretty real control of each game, even whenever the final score has ended up being decided by less than, than six points or just by one possession. So I understand there being some stress there, but not only have they have they beaten the teams they've faced, ending 14-1 and one in the games where their starters played, obviously, they've also beaten a lot of really good teams. Yeah, is there really a problem with winning 10 straight games Games and going on the road and winning at New Orleans, at Miami, at Tampa Bay. These are all quality wins. And, and this was a schedule that was tough from beginning to win. And, and they didn't have a letdown at any single point in the season. The Chiefs have taken on all comers and handled it. Close wins are, are not a problem. If anything, close wins are, I think, indicative of a team that can can close in tough situations. I'd like them to blow some teams out, but there is a there's a big difference between being the team with the bullseye on your back and it's only going to get increased in the postseason because you're everyone's biggest target in that too so i think it's a good thing while some chiefs fans may have liked a few more blowout wins heading into the postseason for travis kelsey and coach andy reed the confidence is just as high whether casey wins by five or 50. it can get very uh, confusing to a lot of people um they think since we have the best quarterback and two great receivers and a defensive line sack nation. They think that we should just go out there and just dominate every single game, every single play. And it's it, that's not that's not reality. Everyone's not going to be the prettiest one that, that you've had. Uh, but the bottom line is you got to keep battling. And if, it, if you don't battle, you, you can't do anything. I understand the demands when you're when you won the championship and uh, you can say all you want. You can come out and say, hey, you know, you're going to be everybody's big game. Uh, but until you experience it and find the demands, words don't explain it. So but these guys are mentally our guys are tough. They're mentally tough.